<laughs> All right, Alexa, thank you very much. Frank, it's been a long run that you've had with the St. Louis Sports Commission. So much to get into, and you have so much to be proud of. Is it kind of bittersweet, the fact that you're walking away? Oh, it's it's not bittersweet. It, it's wonderful. You know, Mark Schreiber is going to be my successor. Uh, I'm going to be able to advise him. We've built a wonderful team of, of staff and board directors and community. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens next. All right, so many great events have come to St. Louis. We think of the Frozen Four, but obviously fro uh, Final Fours, both on the men's and the women's side. You've had the Wrestling National Championships, the PGA Championship. Can you pick just one in terms of your favorite? No, but I can pick a favorite moment, okay? And that is in 2019, after we had done a whole bunch of pregame events for, for the Blues in the, in the Stanley Cup Finals, we expected to be asked to help plan the parade, and instead the Blues asked us to march in the parade with them. What a thrill. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is a thrill. There's no question about that. All right, using sports to enhance the community and also drive revenue into the community. You got to be a lot of, you know, have a lot of pride in that. Totally. I, I believe that the, uh, that, that the dollars and cents of it is, is that we brought a billion dollars here, you know, over, over the course of my tenure in, in new money for the region. And, and in a fractured region like St. Louis, it's sports that bring us together. Yeah, there's no question about that. All right, great to see you, Frank. Congrats on a great long career. All the best to you. And uh, so glad the Blues are recognizing you here tonight. Awesome. Thanks, Andy. All right, guys, that's Frank Viverito, Alexa and Bernie. Let's go back up to you.